Hi there, today I'm going through some world coins. I hope you enjoy. It's just a random selection. I'm not expecting to find anything. This is just uh, coins out of my great big tin of coins. And we'll see what we've got and what we can do with them. Here is the first one. Right, hopefully I'm going to get some focus here. Italian Lira. Now, I'm doing it on my phone. There we go, look at that, that's much better. Doing it on my phone, Italian Lira, 100 Lira. It's only on a gooseneck. There's a bit of strange staining on this one. Now, I might give it a clean, I mean a clean, that's 1979. As in, trying to get the staining off, not actually using anything that would affect the surface of the coin. So, you know, clean, not polish. So, things like olive oil, not metal polish. Here we have Italian. More lira. Seems more modern. Quite a nice surface on this coin. But it is, it is definitely... Aluminium. Now I've got to get a better. Going to have to get a better camera soon, so I can get a better focus. 1973, Italian lira. <coughs> now we have this one. Israeli. Quite a plain design. We know it's Israeli because it says so somewhere. And I think these are, I'm not sure it's actual shekels, possibly. But I'll check through after this. I will be checking through all the coins when I edit this video. And I'll try and put in some more information as to what these coins are. Right, there we go. Patsa, or Patsy, Indian coin. There you go. Aluminium, quite dirty. You can't, I don't think you can really polish up these coins. So it's just soaking it in something, trying to get the dirt off and see if we can get any more detail up. Now, what I do generally is just sort these coins into their various countries. Here we go with another one. I think this might be Spain. There you go, Spain. I've got a lot of Spanish coins. Five pesetas. I've got a lot of Spanish coins knocking around. And it's... Mostly one Carlos. As opposed to this guy. Can't remember who he is. Franco. I should know really, shouldn't I? Franco. Gets everywhere. Or, or somebody who knows him. But that should be an interesting set of coins, because obviously you had the Civil War and everything going on. There'll be coins knocking around from everybody. It's also, as you go through these coins, you get to learn about the history of the places. Now, these are, I don't know, it's Orms or something, but I believe this is Mills, Thailand. Oh, Bat. I know it's Thailand, because it's him. So... Thailand. Quite a lot of coins from there. So somebody's also given me coins who's been to Thailand on at least one, if not many, occasions. I've got quite a few of these in the set. I'm going to have to do a bit better on cleaning them, working out the dates. On a copper coin, I'm just going to use some olive oil just to help loosen off the dirt and grime and hopefully bring some of the detail out. But this is a Chinese coin. Again, I've noticed quite a few of these in the tin. Ah, oh, here we go. Good old Juan Carlos, 1983. Spanish coin. I mean, they're quite plain, the Spanish coins, a lot of them. But I suppose if you want them to last and you want to better read them, here are 200 pesetas. So again, oh, I wonder what it could be. Some 
Mine Carlos, 1986. So what I'll do, as I find out more, hopefully I can edit it so that there's details coming up in the corner about each coin and what I think, 1957, Spain, they're currently worth by Pesetas. Now, it is going to be what I think they're worth, not what they're actually worth, because how can I know what they're actually worth or what they would actually sell for? So it's pretty much a guess. Now, Netherlands, 1969, fairly new coin. There you go. In fact, with a lot of the coins I've got, it's her face on there. That makes it nice and easy to identify them without having to squint at a country. Here we go. Another Spain, another one, Carlos. Update on this side. Hold on. 1980. So 1980, obviously, I'm in my 50s. Sounds like it was only yesterday it was 1980. It's like 40 years ago. So that's 40 years ago, this was out in circulation. So a lot of ha has happened since then. Awesome. Or Norge, that's Norway, 1968. Oh, my birthday. Not too bad. Again, you see, 50 years old, that coin. Here we go. One Carlos, 1980. Five. Right, so this one as well. Here he is as well. I mean, a lot of these coins are in okay condition. They just need a bit of uh, surface dirt cleaning off. They will be covered in grease and dirt and dead skin. And it's nice to get those things off. Here's something. It looks as though it might have a bit of age. What are we doing? But it doesn't. 1968, it's just got a nice design on it there. Denmark. And we have Juan Carlos again. Five Pesetas. So even this is smaller, I think, than the ones before. I'll have to double check. Ah, uh, Austria. They always look very dramatic, these coins, until you pick them up, and then there's no weight to them at all. Which is a bit annoying. No weight to them at all because of the aluminium. 1991, so a fairly recent coin there. Here's, ah, uh, well, we can tell from that big R. Denmark. Definitely needs a clean before I do anything with it. What I've got to one side is countries written down on a sheet of paper, because otherwise I forget where each one comes from. Also, I have to, obviously as I'm picking them out, I have to write the names down sometimes, so it can take me a bit of time. We'll see how it goes. Five percentages again. One, um, uh, it looks Israeli. There we go, Israel. I believe that's a shekel. Israeli really coins, quite a plain design. We'll stick that with the other one. There we go. Nor Norway. Also, in many countries, 1999, many countries have uh, won Krona for Norway. Many countries have uh, toyed with the idea of coins with holes in them. We have this. Belgium. Five Belgian francs. I, f do oft I often get these confused with the French francs. They seem a very similar most of the time. Here we have 10 something. Ah, oh, it's going to be Israel. Five 
coin design. It's just more coppery or brassy that coin. Ooh, you can tell me what this one is. I believe either Tunisia or Saudi Arabia. Not sure. But I'm sure I'll find out. Right. Ten filler. Quite a dirty coin. Now, from what I can remember, 1972, Filla is Hungarian. I'm putting it with the Hungarian anyway. I'm going to start a Hungarian pile. It's 20 of whatever these are. Again, oh. The information on these is in the middle and it's gone. So the condition is such, probably can't do anything with it. I've, again, I'm going to have to give it a clean and see what I can do. Here we have either old or dirty. I'm going for dirty. It's Kibris. Now, I've looked up this before. Can't remember what country. So when I come to do the edit, it will be up in the corner. I should really film it over here so there's space for it. Next one, back to an old faithful. Oh, I was going to say Spain. It's not, is it? It's um, it's actually someone else. Again, more research. Now that's either going to be... Oh, I can't remember. I should really do better at remembering these things. But there we go, Schelling. I bet this is... Uh, there we go. Austria. At least... I'm going to call it Austria. We'll go with me Austrian. And then, after a while... I build up bags or tubs full of coins from one country and then I'll go through and try and stick them in the album and that's when I'll find out ideally everything that I've got. There you go. Spain. I've seen quite a few of them. Now I've got this coin which might be hard to see. It's a fairly shiny. It's not in very good condition. It is a bit shiny. There we go. This is the, I know this, Japanese yen. The thing with the foreign coins, working out what year they are can be a, could take quite a while. Now there's, that's Israel. Going to the small print, which the uh, camera won't quite focus on. See if I can get it to focus better. No, not really. There's a shackle, Israel. There we go. 1965. Yugoslavia. And here we have half a shackle, I think. Yeah, there we go. Israel. At the top there. Half oh, shackle. You see, their designs are quite straightforward. The surfaces are quite blank. They're not very interesting. I mean, they're only interesting because they're foreign coins. Now, this could be very exciting. I've got, I've got this. Look at that. Now, I wasn't expecting anything quite this good in a random set of uh, coins from an auction. I think these probably came from an auction. I did a clearance up in Scotland. They might have come from there. Uh, various people have sent me stuff, so it's possible. Well, that's very nice.
possibly even silver. Next one, here we go, these are German or Austrian, and they look like this, what have we got here? 1949, Austria. Now again, when I take the coin away, I'm not using a magnifying glass, because my eyes aren't what they were. And also, my camera's not as good as it should be. I've only got my camera on like a gooseneck stand, which is sometimes, which is why it wobbles sometimes. So Fennec, we all know what that is, Germany. 1990, and I have another one here, straight away, another Fennec. 1950, so 40 years between them. I mean, look at that, you can see the difference in condition. But I'm sure the uh, 1951, some of that green's going to come off. It's going to look lovely. Now we have five something here, five or Denmark. Quite hard to see, but it's 1973. Garoshan, Austria, 1929. Is that 29 or 20? No, 29. 1929. Nice old one. Now, I hadn't... I don't think I've got any this old. And obviously, when you're out putting foreign coins in there, you have to be careful, because you don't want a whole page with just one coin on it. So how we uh, end up displaying these, I'm not sure. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to... And here we have... Another Fennig. One Fennig. Bit of dirt in there, actually. And what I also, sorry about this, guys, what I also do is cut my nails next time. 1950. And, I'm going to make this the last one. I don't know what this is. I believe it's a coin. If you do know what it is, give us a shout. I'm just going to chuck it back into my random tin. And next time it comes out, I'll ask you guys again, and hopefully one of you will be able to tell me what it is. And then I can uh, stick it in an appropriate album. So now I shall edit this and get it up, and I hope to see you all soon.